Hi there everyone, we're looking at the five R's of Christianity. We've seen that God has revealed himself to us. Uh, and as he's done that, we see that he's a God of relationship, a God who wants to know, is a God who we can know. Uh, but then secondly, we've seen that sadly we have all rejected uh, God. Uh, if you missed that video, uh, it'd be worth going back to that one yesterday to understand what we're saying there. And because that sets us up for the good news today. And the good news is the third R, rescue. You see, the whole uh, Bible story is a story of a divine rescue mission. It's a so story of rescue. It's a story of salvation. It's a story about how God has intervened, come into the world, come into our lives to rescue us from our rejection of him so that that relationship can be restored. It's a divine rescue mission and it centres on the great rescuer, Jesus. Jesus came into the world. He says that he came to seek and to save the lost. And we're lost. We've rejected God and we need to be sought out, found and saved. And that's exactly what Jesus did in dying on the cross. As we saw yesterday, there's a penalty for the sins that we've committed. There's a penalty for our ignoring God. There's a punishment for our rejection of God. There's a right response and punishment for our rebellion against God. And that punishment and penalty is death. But God has intervened, sent Jesus, and Jesus died on the cross in our place. He took that penalty, that punishment on himself. This is the heart of the Christian faith. Now, the Queen once said in one of her Christmas speeches, sometimes we need saving from ourselves. And that's the case with us. We need saving from ourselves, from our sin and from the penalty that they deserve. And Jesus takes all of that on himself at the cross. So that now our sins can be forgiven, our rejection can be forgiven and we can be reconciled to the God who made us. We'll think more about that tomorrow.